Hey guys, welcome back. Today I'll be talking about your anatomical snuff box. So what is your anatomical snuff box? So your anatomical snuff box is this little triangular depression right here. And it's also called your radial fossa. So why is it called the anatomical snuff box? It's basically an area or the depression old people used to pour cocaine or tobacco hair and then they'll sniff these and snort these drugs from this area so it's like a depression that can hold something so they'll snort their cocaine and tobacco from here that's how it got its name the snuff box so today i'll be talking about the levels its boundaries as well as its content so let's start with the levels so it's at the level of the carpal bones so if you watch our bone videos you know that these are our carpal bones are right here and there's a bunch of them that you guys should already know about so the borders of our anatomical snuff box we have a medial border a lateral border the roof the floor a proximal border as well as its content so let's start with the medial border so the medial border as you can see is what I'm going to depict in blue right here Hopefully you guys can see that very clearly. So this is your extensor pollicis longus muscle. So I'm going to write that as E P L. So that's your extensor pollicis longus muscle. And that's your medial border of your anatomical snuff box. The next one is your lateral border. Lateral is away from the midline, closer to your thumb, on the side of your thumb. So the lateral border is this thing right here. Let me try to use another color. This one right here in red is your extensor pollicis brevis. So this one here, longus, this one here is brevis extensor pollicis brevis and coming off lateral to that about here is your abductor pollicis longus so that's abductor a b doctor pollicis longus so let's go over those again we have epl for your medial border, extensor pollicis longus. For your lateral border, we have EPB, extensor pollicis brevis. And lateral to EPB, we have APL, abductor, abductor, pollicis longus. So those are the boundaries, lateral and medial boundaries of your anatomical snuff box, as you can see right there. And proximal to these here, the proximal border is the styloid process of your radius. So if you watch the bones of the upper limb video, you know what your radius is and you know the styloid process of your radius is right here and that forms a proximal border of your anatomical snuff box. And the roof of your anatomical snuff box is basically skin. As you can see, skin. So one more time, let's go over the boundaries. So medial border, close to the midline, we have EPL, extensor pollicis longus, right here. Lateral border, on your radial side, we have extensor pollicis brevis. Lateral to that, we have abductor, abductor, pollicis longus. And your, pro your proximal border, which is at the top, is the styloid process of your radius so the next thing we're going to do is talk about the floor so the floor is basically what it sit on so right in here so the floor of your anatomical snuff box is basically your carpal bones two of them which is a scaphoid bone as well as your trapezium bone so the scaphoid and trapezium is basically here and they form the floor of your anatomical snuff box. And the last set of things we're going to talk about today is the content. So the content of your anatomical snuff box are basically three things. So we have the radial artery. 
strolling past there we have the superficial branch of the radial nerve as well as the cephalic vein so we have RCS going through your anatomical snuff box so we I just call them RCs so it's R C and S RCs or you can say S R C or you can just say CSR anything that works for you basically the radial artery the cephalic vein as well as the superficial branch of your radial nerve so let's go over this one last time so remember to say them with me for this use your anatomical snuff box it's a triangular depression right here at the level of your carpal bones medial border is extensor pollicis longus right there lateral border extensor pollicis brevis and lateral to that is the abductor pollicis longus or proximal border is the styloid process of your radius and the roof is basically your skin the floor is two carpal bones your scaphoid bone as well as your trapezium bone and the contents of your anatomical snuff box or RCS which is basically your radial artery, your cephalic vein, as well as the superficial branch of your radial nerve. So that's it for your anatomical snuff box. Hope you learned something and until next time, see you soon. Bye!